Shalom and good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcasting to you from Jerusalem and in today's headlines. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calls on the Palestinians to recognize Israel as the nation state of the Jewish people. German Foreign Minister Frank-Walter Steinmeier reiterates his country's commitment to prevent Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons. Several issues remain unresolved as the deadline for the nuclear negotiations with Iran is nearing. Germany's top diplomat, Foreign Minister Frank-Walter Steinmeier, who is on an official three-day visit to the Middle East, met with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at his residence in Jerusalem to discuss the options of restarting the long-stalled peace negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians. In a joint press conference, the German Foreign Minister urged both Israel and the Palestinians to find common ground in bringing the peace process back to life. Wir glauben, dass wir glauben nach wie vor, dass es eine wirkliche Sicherheit für Israel auf Dauer nicht ohne einen lebensfähigen, friedlichen palästinensischen Staat geben wird. Und wir glauben weiterhin daran, dass der Weg dahin geebnet werden muss, selbst wenn die Lage im Augenblick besonders schwierig scheint. Wir müssen weiterhin nach Wegen und Möglichkeiten suchen den Nahostfriedensprozess mit Leben zu erfüllen. Deshalb bin ich heute hier und deshalb werde ich nachher und morgen in den palästinensischen Gebieten sein. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reiterated his demand towards the Palestinians in which a direct process between the two sides can only realize if the Palestinians will be willing to recognize Israel as the nation state of the Jewish people. We spoke at um, uh, some length about our common quest to move forward on a peace with the Palestinians. Uh, I think the only way to move that is through direct negotiations. Unfortunately, the <clears throat> Palestinian Authority has moved away from these negotiations. Uh, but I believe <coughs> and I remain committed to the idea that the only way we can achieve a lasting peace is through the concept of two states for two peoples, a demilitarized Palestinian state that recognizes the Jewish nation state of Israel. Uh, I know that Germany shares this view. Foreign Minister Frank Walter Steinmeier also reiterated his country's commitment to prevent Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons, assuring Netanyahu that an agreement with the Islamic Republic will be agreed upon on its nuclear program only if it contributes to enhance the security of Israel. Sie wissen, dass wir seit vielen Jahren Teil der internationalen Gruppe sind, die nach einer Vereinbarung in dem langjährigen Konflikt mit dem Iran sucht. Wir haben lange Nächte und lange Tage, lange Wochen von Verhandlungen in Lausanne hinter uns. Es sind Parameter vereinbart. Die Parameter sind noch nicht das die endgültige Vereinbarung. Aber ich will Ihnen versichern, am Ende geht es nicht darum, ob wir ein gutes oder ein schlechtes Agreement vereinbaren, sondern es kommt überhaupt nur ein Agreement in Frage, das einen Beitrag zur Sicherheit, auch zur verbesserten Sicherheitssituation Israels sein wird. Foreign Minister Steinmeier later in the day met with Israeli President Reuven Rivlin, during which he warned of a deteriorating situation in the Gaza Strip that may well lead to a renewed conflict. I just said in the press conference, I still believe that there is a need to come back to negotiations about the two-state solution. But uh, with regard to the risky situation in Gaza, I think uh, we have also to think about uh, some concrete steps for improving the situation uh, for the daily life there. Um, without that, uh, I'm afraid um, the situation is again escalating and there can be no interest on both sides. We hope that you could be the one to bring to the idea uh, of both people that the need Mm. Uh, and the only way to bring to an end uh, the uh, conflict, to bring to an end the tragedy that li we are living in, is uh, by direct negotiation. <laughs> Following his meeting with Israeli leadership in Jerusalem, the German top diplomat traveled to Ramallah to meet with the Palestinian leadership. At a joint press conference with the Palestinian Prime Minister Rami Hamdallah, 
Steinmeier said he assured the Palestinians that Germany supports the aim of an independent, democratic Palestinian state, which will live side by side in peace with Israel. Now to the ongoing nuclear negotiations. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry met his Iranian counterpart, Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif in Switzerland, for a new round of talks on Iran's nuclear program. The P5 plus 1, the United States, Russia, China, France, Britain and Germany, together with Iran, are trying to reach a final agreement by the 30th of June, but several issues remain unresolved. France warned last week it was ready to block a final breakthrough deal unless Tehran provided the UN a nuclear watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency's nuclear inspectors, access to all installations, including military bases and nuclear scientists, a demand the Islamic Republic refuses vehemently. <laughs> ولی در خصوص در چارچوب پروتکل الهاقی و در چارچوب رویه هایی که پروتکل الهاقی پیش بینی کرده به حال گفتگو های ما ادامه داره هنوز هیچ توافقی نه به دست آمده بوده قبلا نه هنوز به دست آمده مذاکرات و بحث ها ادامه داره یکی از موارد هست که به اصطلاح نحوه اجرای پروتکل الهاقی از موارد مورد اختلاف هست که داریم در مورد صحبت Iranian state television reported last week that the June 30 deadline might be extended, a statement denied by the United States which said it was not considering an extension, despite comments from France and Iran indicating there was wiggle room. Issues holding up a breakthrough agreement include the pace of easing Western sanctions imposed on Iran over its disputed nuclear activity and the extent of monitoring and verification measures to ensure the Islamic Republic could not pursue a clandestine nuclear weapons program. In other news, Saudi Arabian Foreign Minister Adel al jubeir said that the Arabian Kingdom will not stand still over Iran's intervention in the region. The comments came during his visit to Egypt, where he met with his Egyptian counterpart, Foreign Minister Samir Shukri. The Saudi top diplomat stressed that the improvement of relations with Iran depends on whether Tehran will stop supporting terrorism and stops taking procedures that harm the region's interests. <laughs> ونحن نتطلع اليوم نستطيع أن نبني علاقات طبيعية بيننا وبين إيران ولكن هذا يعتمد على سلوكيات إيران وعلى عدم تدخلها في شؤون دول المنطقة وعدم دعمها للإرهاب وعدم أن تتخذ إجراءات تضر بمصالح المنطقة ومصالح شعوب المنطقة فالأمر بيد إيران والتحسين العلاقات أو تطبيع العلاقات مع إيران راجع لإيران نفسها ولكن لن لن نسكت أو أو نقف مكتفي الأيادي أمام تدخلات إيران في شؤون المنطقة. Western backed Saudi Arabia is leading an Arab campaign against Yemen's Houthi rebels who follow a sect of Shiite Islam and are allies to Tehran. Analysts say the conflict is a tussle for influence between the Sunni Muslim Kingdom, Saudi Arabia and Shiite Muslim power Iran. Meanwhile, Egyptian Foreign Minister Samir Shukri called on the moderate Arab countries in the region to unite in forming a force that would focus on cooperating against unstabilizing forces and enforce security in the region. نتوقع أن يكون هذا هو المنهج ولكن نحن لدينا القدرة خاصة إذا ما تضمنا وتعاوننا على أن نحمي أمننا القومي وأن نؤكد على العمل بشكل كثيف لتحقيق المصالح العربية دون نفاذ إلى من أي طرف يؤدي إلى زعزعة الاستقرار وتحقيق مصالح لا تتسق مع مصلحة الشعوب العربية Thank you for watching us. I'm Jonathan Hassan of Erev Tov and Shavua Tov, and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time.